Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fans here. So in this video, we will see how to uh, fix the uh, banking apps uh, not working or security related violation it is showing. So after routing this one, your device will fail to meet the basic criteria of safety net and other stuffs. So uh, we need uh, to, to enable some options to make it work again. So here I have installed the um, HDFC bank app and the safety net test and I also have the Magisk manager and other stuff. So first we will open the uh, HDFC bank. So this one directly going uh, telling it uh, it is a security threat. If I open how to fix this, uh, here you can see it is asking to turn off the USB debugging. So what I do is I will just go to uh, setting. Um, and in the setting uh, additional setting and the developer option and from here i have the option to turn off the usb debugging so now i have turned off the usb debugging so now i will check again uh, how it is working so now the app is working but it is showing uh, app uh, doesn't support uh, router device so uh, so safety net is uh, failing you can see um, uh, safety net request is successfully went but the validation didn't match the criteria so what I will have to do is now go to Magisk and first thing that you need to do in Magisk is you just go to settings and you can just hide the Magisk so here I am going to do like it is a, a, a configuration uh, you can set whatever name you want uh, between the 32 characteristics so here I have just uh, uh, do this one configuration and always install install anyways so yeah so now it is uh, installed as with the name of uh, configuration so it is asking to put a shortcut I will just set it because allow now I can just uh, go to uh, settings now and here um, uh, we are we have the Zygis uh, Zygis uh, or Zygist like a digest so I have to enable this and here enforce uh, denial list uh, which requires this one first I will configure the denial list and first thing I have to do is uh, gpay uh, Dna list show system app so gpay gpay will enable all the things all the option uh, sorry here it is not enabled okay so i will enable all three options now uh, services um, google play services i have to enable only the um, only the android gsm and gsm unstable so only these two option i have to enable so now once it is enabled i will go back and i will enforce the uh, denial list and i will just uh, go inside the setting and i will clear the data and clear all data yes and then uh, in the I'll go to application and um, system apps, no, um, manage apps, services, here in the Google services, I will just uh, clear data, clear manage storage, clear data here, and then here also I'll do the clear data. So now um, we have done pretty much most of the things. I will just restart the device once um, and we'll check it. Hope it will work. So I, I did try this thing in the custom room in my Note 11. It was working perfectly fine, but not sure why this MIUI is uh, continuously detecting the things. However, I am not going to root my device as once I get into the custom ROM, I will use it uh, even with the encryption so I can uh, receive the OTA updates and other stuffs. So routing is for some users who don't uh, do much payment or something related to that who uh, want to test new new modules and uh, stuffs 
for them routing will be uh, very useful but if you are using this device for um, primary thing or something uh, better uh, without routing itself you you can get pretty much most of the customization that you require so now i'll open the g apps i even forgot to enable it for hdfc bank but that is fine so yeah now it should work it should work okay so and as you can see now uh, it is uh, working uh, normally so yeah just uh, you need to enable the two option in the google play services and uh, google pay you uh, fully has to enable and uh, hdfc bank you can fully enable that one so that's what about the fix of uh, using the google pay so yeah thank you for watching code moto